you already know what to do it's march the messenger let's go let's get it let's go i'm powered up the vitamin d is hitting me i'm not i don't have to sun gaze all i have to do is absorb the melane like and subscribe if you haven't already they felt my energy my presence your presence will be felt on super retention oh it will i'm not selling you a dream so let me, let me make this disclaimer real quick just because it happened to me i'm not guaranteeing it happened to you all right let's just say you know if i got the benefits within a month or three months doesn't mean yeah you're gonna get the benefits within a month or three months okay so i had a subscriber ask me you know what made me want to stay on the path now i just make this very clear too i got on the path because of god the most high god to seek the, his kingdom first and his righteousness and all things will be added to me when i got on semen retention i didn't know there was benefits I, but i do know that when you obey god there will be rewards just like when you disobey God, you'll be, you know, cursed. You open up doors for you to be cursed. So when you obey God, you will get rewards. You'll be blessed. I didn't know semen retention was a blessing from God at the time. I didn't know that. I didn't know that there'll be benefits. I didn't know that was going to cure my social anxiety, cure cure my erectile dysfunction, uh, cure my uh, premature ejaculation, uh, just cure everything. <laughs> I mean, damn near get my spirit right, get, be more connected to the Most High. You know, I could, I'm the spirit of lust. That's why I made a video about the superpowers. Is The spirit of lust is destroyed. The Holy Spirit is in the spirit of lust. All these demonic spirits destroyed when you have the Holy Spirit. So let's get it. Let's go. Like I said, if you haven't already liked the video, share this video, man. Get this message out. Man needs semen retention. Every single man needs semen retention. All right. So I remember, man, this is, I still remember this because when I first got on it, like, I could see myself like transforming like within a couple of days within a couple of weeks like but for me prior to semen retention i was watching porn bro i was probably watching that stuff like maybe like once or twice a day for over 10 years man so that's a strong stronghold uh, i would go to a store or like a restaurant and i just be that social anxiety would eat me alive some of y'all can know what i'm talking about when you just go out in public and you just the social anxiety is just eating you alive bro within a week on simmer retention i was like i remember i was like oh shoot like i felt free it's like the chains a bondage was on me in the spiritual realm i just had chains on me simmer retention after a week it's just like one chain's coming out the next chain a week later the next chain's coming out the next chain, and it's just i'm being free and then you shall know the truth and the truth shall send you free thank you jesus thank you praise him praise the most high god man so i remember too so within a month right i had a friend and he inspired me okay he didn't even know he was on he, just like i didn't know i was on at the time he didn't know he was on simmer too and yes, there's the airplanes. People in the comments keep saying, Mark, do you record next to your airplane? No, I live next to, I live in a big city and the airport is like 15 minutes away. I just want to make that very clear. I can't control when the airplanes come and not, all right? But, so my friend, he told me, he was like, yeah, Mark, I haven't watched porn. I haven't, I haven't, he hasn't played with himself in over seven years. And I was like, what? At the time, I was like, what, seven years? That's crazy that's unbelievable <laughs> you know like in this society seven years is a long long time and one thing i learned about him right every time we would go out he's like my brother like literally like there's a, the bible verse says that there's a brother there's a friend who sits close as a brother and that's what he was like me and him we like we were hanging out together every single day for over a year or two and now i see he's making content too and he's a bible believer too so but anyways so um, every time we would go out and keep in mind, this dude had man boobs. This, um, now he's, now he's in better shape, but he, I'm just pretty much saying like he wasn't in the best shape. All right. Uh, he was short. He was like five, seven. You know how a lot of men are insecure about that when you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be insecure. Uh, he was, so he was short. He was, he was overweight. And every time we would go out in public, uh, restaurants, the gym, the liquor store, whatever the case may be. And he saw like a cute girl or like a girl in general, he would always talk to her. And I'd be like, what the heck? Like, and, and the girls would talk to them, talk to him back. He would make them laugh and like, he would get their snap or their numbers like that. So I'm like, what the heck? Like, like, damn, what's so, what is he doing? You know, like, I need that, bro. Because like, I, I could talk to girls back to be like before SR, but y'all know that's like that barrier, bro. Like on SR, bro, you're free. If they were, if they don't like you or something like that. And, and most of the time they don't. Most of the time they actually want you to talk to them. It gets how we don't, we lack that confidence. And when you approach a woman, she could feel your energy. She could feel your confidence. She could feel it, bro. And she's attracted to that. So most of the time you, you won't be rejected. I probably it's like 95% of the time. And we live in an adulterous generation. So these girls could have girl, boyfriends 
and husbands and they'll still like want to talk to you which is not those type of girls you want to avoid those are an adulterous woman is one of the most evilest women you'll ever meet on this or evilest humans you'll ever meet on this life even the bible says that such is the way of an adulterous woman she eat and wipe her mouth and says i have done no wickedness which means that she could sin she could cheat on you and in her eyes she did no wrong you know she could do the most demonic evil thing to your life and to her is she did nothing she didn't well, like why, why are you so mad i mean she just it's the most demonic human so avoid those all right so so i was like dang like i gotta try this even retention now bro I, I have to i have to try it out and i feel like god was leading me into it but like you know you you know sometimes two guys like we're not there we're not strong spiritually so sometimes god has to bring people in your life just like this YouTube videos, just people let me know, Mark, you know, you helping me get closer to God. That's how God works. That's, we got to give power to God. I know some people, that is true how the, the demons and devils can use bring people in your life too. But also God can bring people in your life too to help you, uplift you, to get you closer to him. All right, shepherds. All right, so that's what he was in my life, bro. Like I looked at him like a like my big brother that I never, and I don't have a brother. I always wanted a brother. That's why I hope my baby, I pray and hope it's a son, but whatever. Anyways. <laughs> And so, like, I, he was like the brother I never had, man. It was just a blessing on um, blessing, just being around his his presence, his energy. And every time, like, I would go out with him, like, I would learn something. So I was like, all right, let me try the sleep merchant now. Then I started, I got gym membership. So I'm, I'm transmuting that sexual energy to boost myself up, boost my self-esteem, boost my confidence, uh, get the glow, you know, be alive, man. Because when you're lusting, guys, watching porn, masturbating, and, porn, and all, porn and stuff like that, that's spiritual death, man. That's gonna give you off beta male energy. That's gonna give you, you're de spiritually you're dead, man. When you're a slave to that, it's like, so I knew like I had to break free and like every time, it's like every more every time I was retaining, I was coming more more into the light. I was stepping more into the light, man. It just felt so good. And I gave all glory to God for giving me the strength to keep on retaining. And so, so I saw him, he was, he was every female I'm talking about, he would get out tens and nines and I'd be like, and get the number, I'm like, what the heck? What's so special about this dude? And I remember, and like I said, we didn't know about semen retention. We didn't know about that. You know, this is back in 2018. We didn't know about semen retention. We didn't know about NoFap. But he, he, he's he been on it. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to try this out, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see for myself. And uh, I remember we went to Las Vegas. And now I'm on a month, right? I wasn't even trying to go to Las Vegas. I just got out of a relationship at the time. And they were like, no, Mark, you got to go. You got to go. And like, I've been trying to go to Las Vegas, too. So I was like, all right, whatever. So we, we took a road trip over there. I'm in Las Vegas, bro. My energy was hell, bro. So I'm, I'm on Team Merchant, guys. I want to say like six weeks. Yeah, it was, it was about six weeks. I just got out of a relationship, so I had no fornicate, nothing like that. So it was about six weeks. And I'm feeling, bro, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like a king, bro. I'm feeling good. Uh, I, I feel good, bro. I'm getting my, I'm getting my vitamin D. Take your supplements. Buy my vitamin D, uh, my zinc, uh, my ashkawanda. I'm taking all my herbs and I'm just feeling better, bro. My energy's up, man. God is good. God is good. I'm giving him praise. I'm praying more. I'm reading my Bible more. I was smoking less. I don't smoke no more, but back then I was smoking less. It was like I was coming more closer to him, coming more closer to the light. All right, being more connected to the spirit of God and the son, Jesus Christ. Okay, so um, yeah, about six weeks in, we're, I'm born in Vegas. We're, we're at a pool party called Drea's. If you've been to Vegas, y'all know what I'm talking about. It's like a popular pool party. And the old me, right, when I would walk into a place, I would, or actually, no, no, when I went to, when I first went to the Dreas, I was waiting on him, I forgot. He left something at the the hotel, so we were waiting on him, it was my other friend, my other friend that was with us, he was not on team retention. He was trying to get it, you know, get it in, so like that. But I remember, like, I was kind of, like, afraid, bro. I was looking around, like, dang, like, I was like a little, like a little cub, bro, you know, a little cub. I'm like, dang, you know, there's, like, beautiful girls and all that, and I was kind of, like, you know, and, um, my boy comes back and the guy who was on Seymour Treasure for seven years, he comes back in and I see him, he, he's, he's turning up, bro. He's like, woo, he's turning up. I'm like, so I start feeding off his energy. I'm like, dang. And he's talking to other girls too. So I'm like, okay, you know, I, and, and I remember I was like, I, I'm on no, uh, Seymour Treasure for six months. And I realized I tapped into that power. I tapped in, bro. I was like, wait, I'm on Seymour Treasure too, bro. And I just started getting, I was like, hey, it's lit, it's lit. And uh, I just having a good time, bro. You know, like I said, it was, we were in Vegas. And uh, no, I didn't fornicate or nothing like that, guys. You know, but I, this is how I knew sleep retention is a real deal. So, I'm I'm a, I'm talking. To, I go to approach this one girl, and um, I could just tell, bro. Like she felt my energy. She started smiling. Like, the minute I started talking, she was just smiling, and she was talking to me more. I was and I was shocked because um, before sleep retention it was mostly me like doing all the work, but she was she was doing all the work to me, and then she and I found out. And if she would have told me this at the moment, I probably would have folded. I probably would have been nervous. Like that. But I found out like 
um, a couple days after, she was like on Snapchat, she was like, oh yeah, I'm a Lakers cheerleader. This girl was like a, a 10, bro. Like, and how I, I was like, okay, wait. So if I could get a 10, then all these other girls are nothing. I mean, I could get any girl I want. She, actually, she was a perfect 10, bro. I don't I don't really do the 10s like that, but this girl was a 10, bro. Light skin, just per, just a perfect. You know, so I was like, wait, if I could get this girl, then I could get any of that. And that was just my mindset. And that's the, that's how it snowballed. That's how semen retention was just, this is this is for life, bro. I remember I took an oath. Just like when I, when, when I went to Christ, when I went to God, I took the oath that, you know, I give my life to you. I got baptized in water and spirit. And then a couple days later, I got baptized in fire. Um, and then I remember I made an oath to wisdom. I'll, I'll never depart from me. I'm a child of wisdom. Wisdom guide me. Wisdom, you will be glorified. Thank you, wisdom. Wisdom gives me gives life to them who have it. Uh, I made an oath to my wife that we together we locked in. You know, it's the oath. It's the same thing with sea merchants. I remember all the benefits I got. They would definitely feel my energy, bro. All these females would, would feel it. And like I said, when you have high energy, when you're feeling good. You have good vibes, good energy. People, not just females, but people are gonna gravitate towards you. People are gonna feel your energy, bro. And they like that, you know, because you're just feeling good. And like I told you guys, energy is a new currency. People wanna be around the people, someone who's popping, someone who got money, right? Someone who got material stuff. But in the spirit, in the spiritual realm, people wanna be around people, you know, who got energy, who's feeling good, who's happy. Because when you're depressed, uh, suicidal, anxiety, social anxiety, uh, erectile dysfunction, and all these low vibrational things right you're eating low vibrational foods people don't really want to be around you because there's no really there's nothing to be around but when you have that when you have high energy it's like people can feed off that and there's nothing wrong with people people feeding off your energy if it's a positive thing the problem is people feed off your energy and then drain you and then talk you know talk their crap about you a couple weeks later those are the demons bro because demons do come here to drain your energy but there's nothing wrong with the brother feeding off my energy and i'm feeding off his and we're, and we're just going we're just going up just like how think about it we go out to eat remember money is just a uh, form of energy it's currency we got to work for money that's that's energy right so let's say i'm at a restaurant right oh and sometimes i'll i'll, I'll buy there i buy the food for him so he's feeding off my energy there's nothing wrong with that that's just showing love it's just showing love so Understand that just because you're, um, I say that feeding off energy doesn't mean it's demonic. Because some people, you know, and it's true, it can be demonic. Like you know, it can. You know, there are some demons out here who do drain us, the succubus who drains us of our energy and stuff like that. So, uh, I just every girl I would approach, guys, I could definitely feel that they could. These girls could feel my energy, bro. Like, and they like that. Women like that when you're on a high energy, and that's semen retention. Now for me, it was six weeks. Okay, it was about six. Yeah, it was about six weeks. Now it's different for everybody. Everybody is different. I'm not selling you a dream. This is just my my testimony, my experiences. Okay, so let's say if you're on team retention, some people say that they were on it for ten months, they didn't get any benefits. Some people tell me that they were on it for a week and they start to notice more stares. That they start to notice, you know, the glow within a week. So it's different for everybody. But make sure you're. Remember, I'm telling y'all, when you do things for God, when you do things to strive for obedience through God to please Him. He will make sure you get rewarded. Now, don't I made a video about this. Don't abuse your power. So once you start getting the glow, once you start getting the light, once people want to gravitate towards you, once females are just hitting you up, DMing you, wanting to fly you out, wanting to take you out in five-star restaurants, don't leave, feed that power until, okay, now you're fornicating. Now you're back to square one. Okay, don't abuse your power. Because best believe, that's what happened to me. I'm not, like I said, I'm not selling no one a dream. This is what happened to me. The girls flying me out. Wanted to come to, flying from, overseas to want to see me what if you want to buy the manager, baby so i'm telling you this is the real deal but like i said flee fornication don't fall into that snare you're on sea emergency now wait until you get your wife because god has a wife for you if that's a desire some men don't have that desire though and that's cool not everyone's meant to have a wife that's nothing wrong with that but delight yourself in him the most high god the god of israel and he will give you the desires of your heart i love y'all so much if y'all haven't already like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. It's Martha Messenger. We're going up. They will feel your energy. They will feel your presence. Jesus is good. God is good. Jesus is Lord. I love you so much. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go.